And we were told by some of your neighbors that a tree fell yeah. upon your house. Every homeowner knows the extent of their own damage from the tornado that came through Highlands Ranch last week. Is your house insured? Yeah. But Deputy Andrew Bowman and several other Douglas County crews are going door to door to figure out the extent of all the damage on everyone's homes. We're just trying to just get a good ballpark estimate. The county says about 16,000 trees were taken down. They don't know how many homes were damaged and they need to get that information in order to be eligible for a presidential disaster declaration. We want to help our citizens as much as possible. Um, that declaration would uh, open um, what's called a public assistance grant and that would help um, all of our public facilities. The director of the Office of Emergency Management, Deborah Schnockenberg, says they've already met the county's $1.5 million threshold for a disaster, but the state's threshold is $10 million. That information comes back to us here in our mobile command post, and we have a live time view of what's been checked, what the damages are, and we are beginning to build a database with a running total on it that we can then give to the state here shortly to continue this process. We're looking at just like the actual effect that came upon the household itself. The county expects the assessment process to take about two days. Uh, water damage or anything like that. Yes. The aftermath of a tornado is not something they're used to. We've got this. But they're confident they've got a handle on it. We never expected to see a tornado lift through downtown. Mm -mm, no, I did not believe it. Well, <laughs> have a good day.